What is it? I don't know. What is it? It's a door. A door? Yeah. Where does it go? How to get there? I think it's a fairy door. Do you think the fairies put a door in your room? <gasps> Don't take it off. No, it's not a fairy door. Because it doesn't open the door. Maybe only fairies can open it. Look at the glitter. Is that glitter on there? Maybe it's a special fairy lock. Or maybe Dad put it there. What? <laughs> maybe Dad put it there. I don't think so. Who did? I don't think Dad could build a door that small. Only fairies could build a door that small. Maybe me? You could build a door that small? Uh, but I'm too big. Did you build it? No. Did you put that there? No. Hmm. I didn't. Oh well, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know who. Well, I think the fairies can come to your room then. Maybe they can leave you little presents when you're good. No, that's not a fairy door. You don't think it's a fairy door? No, because fairies are sometimes big <clears throat> growing up. You think the fairies are bigger than that? Yeah. What's this? What does it say? Hmm. See it? Your very own fairy door. It's a fairy door, alright. It's up to you when your fairies move in. Simply sprinkle some fairy dust in front of their door, and the fairies will show up soon, I'm sure of it. You may never see your fairies come and go, but they will leave things outside of their door for you to see. What's that? Glitter. Let's see. Wow. So you can leave some glitter outside the door when you want the fairies to come? Maybe Dad did build it. I don't think he did. Then who did? I think it came from the fairies. I think Tinkerbell came from another world and gave you a door. Just so she can come and visit sometimes and leave you little presents. So are her friends. That is so cool. And her other fairy friends. Let's open the glitter. Right now? <laughs>